A new year, a new shiny Giratina. Last year, Giratina gave me the runaround. But not this year. This year, this year. Good, you're still here. Share me, share me. I'm doing. I was doing a dramatic intro for my channel. What yeah. do you need? I was just checking to see if you were going to take out the trash because it's been a couple of days, so I was just making sure. That you yes. Your you yes, I will take out the trash. Great. Cool. You get back to the drama of hanging out in the garage. Carry on. Bye. That's right, I'm back vlogging again, at least this weekend, because we have Shiny Giratina Origin out for the first time as a Shiny. And uh, for those of you who've watched my channel in the past, you guys might remember, Giratina Altered last year gave me a lot of grief. 51 raids to get that Shiny. Vlogging my experience trying to get this Shiny version of Giratina. And I am here with Josh. Hello. He is helping me out with my raids today, and uh, this is the first one of the day, so very exciting. Also, lots of other stuff going on in the game. I've got a batch of 10 kilometer eggs about to hatch. First time I've got a collection of nine in what feels like a year. And we also have a lot of new stuff in the game, as well as the Shiny Giratina Origin. We have Shiny Vulpix out for the first time. Beautiful Shiny, can't wait to find that. And uh, Deerling has now been introduced into the game. And Deerling evolves into Sawsbuck, which has four different forms depending on the time of year. But Giratina Origin is the coup de gras. First check. Not on the first one. Nope. And Josh struck out as well. Well, since you guys don't want to see me catch this pathetic CP Giratina, I will catch up with you guys at the next raid. We are wrapping up Giratina raid number two. On route to this raid, I broke my shiny dry spell with a shiny C dot. So hopefully that didn't soak up all my shiny luck today. Nope. No. On all three phones, no. So we were on route to Giratina raid number three and my 10Ks are going off. So let's get right into these hatches. I'm predicting at least two Feebas out of these. First one's a Litwick. Next up, we got a Timber. I'll take that. Number three, another Litwick. Hey man, as long as I'm not seeing a dumb-eyed fish. Number four, a Gibble, okay. Number five, ugh. There's one of the fish I called. Speaking of Gibble, I just saw Gibble on the on the map. I'm gonna have to interrupt these uh, Dino Hatch. Might have to interrupt these hatches in order to get that Gibble. Click it right now. All right, I forget what number we're on. I think it's six or seven. Another Ghost Candle. At the very least, the Stardust is nice. I had a star piece running. So no matter what, I'm a winner. Absol, why can't you be red? I think that was my last one for right now. I've got one more in my infinite that's gonna hatch in another three something kilometers. But we'll get to there when we get to there. So unfortunately, my camera settings got messed up on that last clip I filmed. I caught my first Pokedex Deerling, which was pretty cool. Um, but now we are at the Giratina raid number six. Hoping it's the shiny. Here we go. Nope. No, for everyone involved. That's three phones, six raids, 18 Giratina, all not shiny, and none of them have been even above 90% for me. I think the best I've been able to find is 89. So, with my 10 kilometer eggs hatched, the deerling caught, now it's all about the shinies. So, I'm probably just gonna montage our way through the rest of this day until we get that shiny. Let's go with all the nine shiny Giratina montage, yeah! So 
Josh had to bail. We got 11 raids in between his two accounts and my one. 11 raids, 33 Giratina, no shiny. Unbelievable. Um, so I am soloing it right now, at least in terms of who's with me. Um, but thank goodness for remote raid passes. Uh, I can just invite whoever I want. From anywhere in the world, I've got my friend JT in Texas. Shout out JT, he's helped me out with a lot of remote raids these days. Um, so I'm still able to do a ton of Giratina before it gets too late. Um, as a matter of fact, there's another cluster of about three Giratina eggs hatching really close to here. So after this, I've got plenty more to do. But Giratina is once again not making this process easy for me. Um, as a matter of fact, a lot of our friends who've been remote raiding with us, a lot of them have been striking out. I wanna say maybe only one or two shiny Giratina from everyone the entire day. It's rough out here. Rough out here for shiny hunters. Shiny check number 12. No shiny once again. All right, gonna catch this guy, and then it's off to do more. Boy, I want that shiny today. So, made it back home. 15 Giratina raids later, and I'm still shinyless. Am I bummed? Yeah. Am I surprised? No. This shiny is going to be elusive, just like his brethren was, unfortunately. I am calling it a little bit early because one, it's super dark out and I'm not gonna get any halfway decent footage. And two, the Lakers are playing right now. It is a closeout game for them. If they win tonight, they win the championship, which is going to be huge and monumental and history making. So I am definitely gonna go catch that. It's already started and I'm late to get to the game. So I'm gonna go watch that and we'll pick up this shiny hunt tomorrow. Cross fingers, tomorrow brings better luck. Let's get this out of the way right now. Yes, I'm wearing a Boston Celtics hat. Yes, I live in Los Angeles. And yes, I am from Dallas and I'm a Dallas Mavericks fan. But I was feeling like wearing green today, okay? And the green Boston Celtics hat matched my green outfit. Don't judge me. Now that we've gotten that cleared up, we are tackling Giratina number 16 overall. And I'm not gonna lie, I have a sinking feeling that we're not gonna have the same kind of numbers we had yesterday on the remote side of things. Uh, somehow I get the feeling that a lot of trainers used up a lot of remote raid passes yesterday when he first came out. And I don't know if I'm gonna get, get the same numbers that I need to go as hard as I did yesterday. But I'm hoping I'm wrong. So cross fingers for me. Also, fun fact, while this Giratina is still going down, I hit 80 million XP at one point yesterday um, amidst all the raids. Oh, all my Pokemon fainted. Awkward. Anyway, like I was saying, uh, I hit 80 million XP yesterday during the raids. And uh, yeah, trainer level times four. It's pretty awesome. I'm proud of myself. I'd be patting myself on the back if I had a free hand. I feel like I've lost my friends. This thing should have gone down by now. I feel like I'm by myself. Yeah, I had four friends helping me with that one remotely and it was not as clean of a win as it was, as was happening yesterday. 2032, my gosh, this is like the worst one ever. Number 16, no shiny here. All right, gonna catch this pathetic excuse for a ghost dragon and uh, catch up with you guys at the next raid. So remember when I said it felt like everyone had left me at the end of that raid? Well, that's because they did, but it wasn't their fault. Niantic's got this glitch with remote raiding to where if you faint out when you're remote raiding, but the raid is officially over, they can't re-lobby if they fainted out. So all my friends that I invited didn't get to shiny check that Giratina because the raid had officially timed out. And so when they fainted, they couldn't get back in. I feel terrible. I apologized up and down and everyone was really cool about it. They don't, they weren't blaming me. It's Niantic's fault. It's Niantic's glitch, but still really stinks, man. Not the way you want to start a new day. It's not a bad IV one. I think it's like 2087, 2089, which is on the upper echelon of the ones I've been running into anyway. Can this be the shiny number 17? Nope, no again. Oh, and it's 2077. All right, back at it. Uh, 
As I feared and predicted, it is hard to find trainers today. I just missed out on the Giratina raid up the road because we didn't have enough people. But thankfully, I found an egg that was just about to hatch. We picked up a couple trainers. My what? Oh, my mask. Yes, I am wearing a mask right now. This is a very densely populated area, shopping mall and whatnot. So doing my part to be safe. And uh, it is a beauty of a mask at that. Courtesy of the Secret League, I will link their Twitter and their website in the description so you guys can check them out and get a mask for yourself. I warn you, they sell out quickly. I missed out on two or three rounds of these masks because people snatched them up real quick. So uh, put on your notifications for when Secret League posts an update on Twitter so you know when a new round of masks is available. JT got his shiny a couple raids back. Congrats JT. Can this be my turn? Of course not. Of course not. Why? Why would it be my turn? It's never my turn. Alright. Salty John's going to drive to the next raid. A hundred million cool points to those of you who recognize this spot. This was the location of my very first vlog of my very first raid on this channel. Uh, I did a Magnemite raid and uh, I'm a very nostalgic guy so it kind of feels really cool that I'm back in this location but can the nostalgia overcome this shiny drought I'm in? Now I did a random remote raid between the shopping center and this one. This is actually raid number 20. No. Giratina cares not for nostalgia. Remote rating. This is raid 31. Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh! oh my god! Oh my god! It's over! Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, thank god. Oh, uh, it's been a long, it's been a long 48 hours. Uh, I decided to heck with it. I'm going to start remote raiding if my friends find stuff. Uh, I'll blow the, the, the coins on the remote passes to just to save me time because driving all over the place has been a pain in the neck and exhausting. But it's finally mine. <sighs> 31 raids. It's... It's not the 51 that his brother made me do, but man, still made me earn him. Wow. <sighs> Finally done. Oh my gosh. Whew. It's IVs are okay, I guess. It's, what is that? Brain mush. It's like 84, probably. Three stars. Look. I will take it. Yes. Yes. Okay. We're going to recap all this when I get home because I have to pee and the lighting is no good here and I have to pee. So I'll see you in a second at home. Got the shiny. Yes. Oh man. Do I feel better? Not just because I got to use the restroom, but because I finally, finally got Shiny Giratina Origin. Man, at the rate I was going, I expected it to take me like an entire week's worth of pounding the pavement, 15, 20 raids a day. And that is very discouraging and not fun. And I'm so glad that's not going to be my fate. Got it on the second day, but 31 raids. That's still a real significant number. And when you combine that with the 51 raids it took me to get the other Shiny Giratina form, that's 82 raids for two shinies. That is a ridiculous number. 
Leave in the comments section below which Legendary Raid Shiny has given you the most trouble in obtaining. Uh, clearly Giratina is mine. I'd be very curious to know which Legendary Shiny is giving you the runaround. And uh, as for me and what I'm doing next, all that's left for me this week is to try to track down a Shiny Vulpix, which I am definitely going to take my time for. Raid Shinies are my grind. Everything else, I get it when I get it. So I'm not going to stress too much. But if you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed watching me squirm and whine and drive all over the place finding my shiny Giratina, go ahead and leave this video a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.